it is seriously amazing. Do I have powdered sugar on my forehead? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here, hello, welcome, my name is Helen and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are not doing anything makeup related or beauty related. I'm actually going to go through and show you guys some of my absolute favorite Greek snacks and treats. So in case you did not know this about me, I am half Greek on my mother's side. She was born in Greece and her and her family moved here when she was four years old. And so growing up, I was lucky enough to be able to spend some summers in Greece with my grandparents. And uh, I even, when I was, I believe nine years old, maybe that's fourth grade. I'm not sure what grade it was, but I was, um, meant to spend an entire school year in Greece. However, a few months into it, I got a little bit homesick and I ended up, I did end up coming back home to finish out the school year in the US. But while I was there and every summer I've been there and even, even growing up in Chicago, there were like, there were Greek markets around us. So these are items that I either consistently had growing up or I had specifically in Greece. I am so excited. Some of these things I have not had in like 16 years which is kind of crazy in itself so I hope this is fun for you guys if this is something that you like and would like to see more of let me know in the comments down below I can do maybe other country snacks uh, that I've been to or I can do like some Greek um, like dishes that I really like. I can cook those and kind of give you guys a little bit information about that. So yeah, I'm really excited and I'm like really hungry. So it's going to be super great. I will put links down below for everything that I purchased and where I got them from. Everything was purchased online. There aren't any super close uh, markets that sell Greek products to me at the moment. So it was just easier to do my shopping online. I guess we're going to just get right into it. A little disclaimer, everything that I'm trying, I think everything, everything that I'm trying is sweet. I have a sweet tooth. I've always loved sweets. So everything here is something sweet. The savory things I would have liked in Greece or I would have had in Greece and probably it'd be like potato chips that we can usually get here, but they would have been different flavors like oregano I remember having or um, things like that. So the majority of the items I will be showing you guys and testing taste testing are going to be sweet treats. So we're going to start with probably my f one of my first and like favorite memories of when I was like visiting of when I was visiting my grandparents in Greece. So when you visit Greece, everyone is very friendly and very welcoming and they will welcome you into their home. And usually when you are welcomed into their home, you are met with a uh, either some sort of coffee or some sort of drink and then there's usually a little sweet treat so it'll be like a spoon of preserves or something along those lines so there used to be a neighbor that lived behind us her name was Kiria Lambro and I used to go there very often and she would always have a little spoon of vanilla for me. So in Greek it's vanilla. Now you're thinking a spoonful of vanilla like the stuff you use in baking? No it is not vanilla extract. It is this right here. It is a jar of vanilla paste and it's basically just sugar and vanilla flavor and it and water and it creates like a paste. I'm gonna open it up for you guys and show you what the consistency is like but oof, oh my gosh. Oh oh my god. It's like gonna make me cry. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had this. Oof. I wasn't expecting that in, that um, reaction. Like I said, ooh, oh my god. Why would I start crying? That is really bizarre. Okay. I can't cry, I just did my makeup. Sorry guys, I have literally no idea why I just got so emotional. So I have not had this in I don't know how long. The last time I was in Greece was in 2009 when my grandfather had passed away and I don't know that I had this then. I for sure probably would have had it when I was the time before that I was 16 when I was in Greece so I might have had it then but the smell is just like sugar. It smells like sugar. That's all it smells like. It smells like sugar 
but that just like transported me back to Greece when I was a little kid and like oh man I was not expecting to get emotional during this video I was just really excited to eat treats um, it just takes me back to when I was a little kid and going and visiting all like the ants in the village and getting little like sweet treats like this so I know that scents can be like really strong and like transport you back to places but I was not expecting to actually get emotional about it okay so what you do is you would take a spoon and it is super thick and you would put some on a spoon and you would serve it in a glass of water and that's all you would do and so little Helen would be so excited and she would get it. And then you just uh, take your spoon out. Oh, it's like even better than I remember. And you drink some water. The consistency is amazing. The taste is amazing. It is super sweet. I was wondering if I would still like it as an adult and the answer is yes, I love it. But also as an adult, I realized that it's just pure sugar that I can't have nearly as much as I would like. I'm gonna come back to this later, but I'm gonna keep it moving for you guys. So this is my first favorite sweet treat from when I was a kid. And apparently so much a favorite that the smell of it alone will reduce me to tears. Oh, so good. So good. I'm so glad I found this. So moving on to the second item. This item I didn't have so much in Greece itself but it was always around like at my aunt's house. We would spend a lot of time there and she always had these canisters of the uh, Caprice wafer rolls and this is the brand Papadopoulos. And they're just like thin wafer rolls that are filled with chocolate. Um, these have a hazelnut cocoa cream filling, which is my favorite. And then there would be like other flavors as well. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm an adult now and I'm bigger, but these canisters, like this is so tiny. Like it is so little. I remember them being like these giant canisters that were like, wow. But now oh, there's just these little guys. So I'm gonna open this up. This one does not make me cry, but it does smell wonderful. And I'll just grab one of these bad boys out. Oops, they're broken. These cannot be all broken. I'm gonna cry if these are all broken. I will do it, you've seen me do it. All right, this is what it looks like. So the ones I remember from when I was a kid, I don't think they were this exact brand, um, but they were lighter in color and they had like a swirl, but just nice light. Mm. Mm-hmm, oh yeah. These were my favorite when I was little. Anytime I was at my aunt's and she had them, I would like secretly hope I would get them. I don't think I got them every time, but I always hope they'd make up an appearance. That light wafer, and I love anything chocolate hazelnut. Okay, my next treat. So this was from when I actually went to school in Greece. I would stop at like the little corner market along my route to school, and I would grab one of these seven day chocolate filled croissants. So I'd grab one of these and I would grab a bag of chips. To uh, a little nine year old kid, that was like the lunch of all lunches. Like that was amazing that I was, that was my lunch. Chips and a chocolate filled croissant. As adult Helen, I'm like, why was nobody monitoring what my lunches were? Because that had like zero nutritional value, but they were delicious. So I think the main thing was that the school days weren't very long. So I feel like the village was small enough that like you would go home for lunch. So this was really more of like a snack. I don't think this was really my lunch lunch, but it's my favorite. I actually, a few years back when I was living in uh, Chicago, like the city itself, the, the city proper, the local grocery store Mariano's, my favorite grocery store of all time, uh, they started selling these. So I have had these a little more recently uh, than when I was nine, but I love, 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 love these. <sighs> The smell, again, it's like I'm nine years old and sitting out in the playground at school. Ugh, I love it. So here is the croissant and it's just like a super soft bread. And I'm gonna cut it open so you guys can see what it looks like. It's not gonna be very pretty, but here is the inside. So a nice flaky dough and that chocolatey filling. Mm. 
I don't know why these are so good. I mean, it's just a packaged pastry that has no business being this good. I don't know if it's because it's like a nostalgic thing for me or if it really is just that good. But the fact that they're starting to sell them pretty regularly in the States tells me they're probably really good. They even sell like little minis, the chocolate cream. I wanna say most like European chocolate, not most, but a lot of the European chocolate type things that I really like are like chocolate and hazelnut. I don't think this has hazelnut in it. No, this doesn't have like specific hazelnut flavor to it, but it still has that European chocolate kind of taste. It's very different than American chocolate. So generally, I've been eating healthier. These kinds of things are not in my normal day-to-day -day diet. So this is definitely a nice little treat. But once I film this video, whatever I have left is going to like friends. It's, it's getting out of the house. I cannot have it around because I will eat it all. All right, next up we have not something I had too much in Greece itself, but these were always uh, at my aunt's house or like family gatherings. These are called lukumi, which is also known as Turkish delights. And specifically, the ones that are my favorite are the pink ones that are usually rose flavored. I love these things. I don't know why I love the flavor of rose and these are just so good. I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what it looks like. But as most lukumi are, they're coated in like a powdered sugar cornstarch mixture just so they don't stick together. Oh, that smells so good. That rose scent. I think even little kid Helen would be like, whoa. It is seriously amazing. Do I have powdered sugar on my forehead? You know it's good when it gets all over your face. But it is so fascinating how the like sense of smell and the sense of taste can like completely transport you in time or in like where you are. Like when I smelled that the vanilla paste, it was like I was a little kid back in Greece visiting my best friend. <laughs> who was like in her 70s. She was probably younger back then because I was little, so she seemed a lot older, but uh, so, so good. I know they have a lot of flavors of lukumi, but rose is it for me. I know like green is usually pistachio. I don't know what the others are. There are other desserts in Greece where like rose water is part of it. Lukumi is my favorite. The good thing about them is that they are so sweet and so strong in taste that like one piece, you're good for a while. Like you cannot, at least I cannot. And I am like the queen of sweets. I cannot overdo it on these. Like one piece and I'm good for like a day or two, if not more. All right, next up. This one, I don't, I'm not gonna actually be trying for you guys, but I do wanna tell you about it. Even to this day, I have it pretty regularly. One of my favorite like snacks or desserts is like a small bowl of extra thick, uh, Greek yogurt and it's usually plain Greek yogurt. Uh, the brand that I swear by and live by and exclusively like purchase is the Faye brand and that's F-A-G-E. Um, they have my favorite Greek yogurt and I get it in plain and then I do a drizzle of Greek honey. So I've got this guy here. I actually have found this and uh, there's another brand. I've actually found these in like normal grocery stores so you don't really have to go too far to find Greek honey. But a drizzle of honey and like a little bit of cinnamon and some like walnuts or almonds, that is such an underrated, like really lovely and like pretty healthy dessert. Obviously you wanna go a little light on the honey, but so good. That is one of my favorite desserts. And I don't have it that often, but when I get into a kick, I like love it. So right now I have the Faye yogurt up in my fridge and I just, I had too many other things going on. I didn't wanna have to eat also a yogurt with honey. So highly recommend Greek honey. There is a difference. I know it's like, oh, is there really a difference between Greek honey and regular honey? I think there is. I really like Greek honey. It could be because I'm Greek. I don't know. <laughs> so the next treat I have for you guys is called halva. And that is this guy here. I'm going to read this directly off of Wikipedia so I don't get anything incorrect. So halva is a traditional fasting food among Greek Orthodox who traditionally have food restrictions, especially from meat on Wednesdays and Fridays throughout the year for all of Great Lent and other fasting periods. So this is, uh, like I said, pretty popular during Easter uh, because it is uh, approved for Lent and it is made of tahini paste. Now I generally 
personally am not a huge tahini paste fan, but I really love halva. Oh, I really, I have not had this. I don't even remember the last time I had halva. All right, I'm gonna cut a piece out here. It's almost like, the texture is almost like sand, like edible, flaky sand. I don't know how else to describe it. And I get it, my favorite is in chocolate. I know that comes in all sorts of flavors, but my favorite is chocolate. So this is the chocolate halva, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys like this crumbly texture. We're gonna go in for it. Oh man, can you get that like sesame flavor? And then it's like sweet, but it's just this like light buttery, that is so good. Again, this is something that's not very healthy for you, I don't think, I think it's, there's so much sugar in it. So the ingredients are crushed sesame seeds, or tahini, glucose syrup, cocoa, artificial flavor, stuff I can't read. So one 50 gram piece is almost 300 calories. It's not diet friendly. But I will say, this is another one of those where a little bit goes a long way. Like that little bite I had, I'm set. I'm like good for a while. I'm like, I barely made a dent in this and there's still more left over here. So this is gonna last forever. I did not need this much or this large of a tub of halva, but I have one now. That's over a pound. I didn't even realize this is over a pound of halva. It was 21 ounces. Hopefully it doesn't go bad quick because it's gonna take a while to get through that. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. To any Greeks that may be watching, I'm sorry if I'm butchering any pronunciations. I don't speak Greek very often. I used to be fairly fluent in it when I was going to school there. I could read it, write it, speak it, but unfortunately over time it's just kind of like escaped my brain. Also will say I always struggled with speaking Greek. I could understand it very easily, but I would um, not be so confident when it was time to actually speak it. So that never helped. Um, the next item I will show you guys is a drink. So this is by far my favorite juice in the world. It is the Amita peach juice. And in Greek it's Rodakino. It is so good. I'm gonna pour a little bit real quick. Uh, Mita also sells um, other flavors, but the peach is my absolute favorite. It is just like the strongest peach flavor. It's almost, I imagine this is just like pure peach juice concentrate. Like this cannot be. I'm like sitting in Greece right now drinking my juice. Water peach pulp, sugar, citric acid, no preservatives. Ooh, refrigerate after opening and consume within three days. I'm not gonna be able to drink this in three days. But it's kind of like if you were to get the juiciest, ripest, most magnificent peach in the world and just like squeeze it into a glass. That's what this juice tastes like. All right, we have one more thing, one-ish, because it's kind of a two-parter. So this one is going to be uh, maybe controversial, it's not controversial. But this one is, so this is one of my favorite breakfasts I used to have in Greece. It was to the point where like we would go through a jar like every few days. Like it was just like a constant just like eating it. Um, and it is called merenda. This is basically the Greek equivalent to Nutella. And I'm going to say this is the controversial bit. This is better than Nutella. I don't know if it's because I grew up eating this before Nutella, like I even knew what Nutella was, but this is amazing. I have not had this in at least 16 years because the last time I was in Greece, I'm pretty sure I never, I never had it. So it's been 16 years since I've had this. I've had Nutella plenty of times, but I have not had this. So I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Oh my gosh. This is 100% amazing. I should have got a Nutella as well, just to like do a side by side. It's like, a, it's a little runnier than Nutella. All right, and then what I would have it with are these little toasts. So this is Papadopoulos Goldies. So they're wheat toasted rusks. Rusks sound so weird, but they're called rusks and uh, they're just like little toasts basically. So here's the little toast, super cute, it's toasty. Uh, there's actually a Greek cake called uh, Karidopita. It is my absolute favorite cake um, and it's made of walnuts. It's a walnut cake, but instead of flour, uh, they use like ground up rusks or breadcrumbs, but I mean, there are tons of different recipes, but the recipe that I've used often is uh, with rusks. So I'm gonna go in with my merenda and just glide it on the toast. 
Now, like I said, I have not had this in so long and it smells so good. So I would have two of these, so like two pieces of toast with merenda, and then I would have a glass of milk. And the milk in Greece, and I'm sure most places in Europe, but the milk in Greece was so delicious. It had so much flavor and it almost like, this doesn't sound gross. I don't mean for it to sound gross, but it almost had like a farm taste. Like it tasted farmy. And I just loved that about the milk. It was so good. And it would be the perfect accompaniment to merenda. So I'm going in. Merenda's better than Nutella. This is gonna make me sentimental again. In all honesty, like it is really hard to find Merenda. So when I saw it online, like normally I'm, I'm talking like online, it's hard to find. So when I found it, it was just like instantly add to cart, purchase, yes. I know I'm a makeup and beauty channel, but this is my favorite video. <laughs> this is my favorite video so far. Basically, what all this is telling me is that I need to make my way back to Greece again. It has been far too long. My mom has been wanting to go for years. My dad has never been. And this is all telling me I should go back. I am so happy I did this video. I definitely did not expect to get emotional in any sort of way. I just thought I was going to like really enjoy and really be excited to try all the foods I haven't had in years. But it really does take me back to when I was a kid and when I was with my grandparents and with family and it's just like, I'm at a loss of words. I'm legitimately at a loss of words. <laughs> that was seriously fantastic. Everything here today was fantastic. I really hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about me and learning a little bit more about Greek snacks. Like I said earlier, if this is something you are interested in seeing again, let me know down below. I, I would love to do more like snack videos with you guys. And also if there are other like Greek snacks you would like me to try, uh, just let me know. I will order them if I can and I will do another video, like a follow-up video to this one. If you like this video as much as I did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Most of the time they pertain to makeup and beauty, but occasionally I throw in a lifestyle video as you can tell by today's Greek snack video. If you like today's makeup look, I will link it for you guys up above and down in the description box. This is using e.l.f.'s new Retro Paradise collection. Uh, I figured uh, since most of the time I would go to Greece in the summer and that is a summer collection, the two went hand in hand. I am really just floored by the fact that I got so emotional over the smells and the tastes of these Greek snacks. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!